Altingham with the throw down the line for Amaluzo tries to get a cross in but it's uh, half cleared there by uh, Harry Davis the captain Altingham in possession nice oh, back brilliant. heel there shot comes in a side oh. netting there from uh, Chris Conclark the supporters just underneath us thought that was uh, in the back of the net but unfortunately it was the uh, side netting but uh, first real chance of the afternoon with uh, five and a half minutes gone yeah brilliant bit of skill by Noobs there to flick the ball through for Chris and I'll be honest I thought it was in as well um, but the boys are looking threatening Corner comes into the back post, holding there. Six and one and half a dozen of the other there. File still with the ball. Good play That's there by Barrett. Play. Barrett's done well. Can he get a shot away? Oh, scores. Dear. That's terrible defending there. Halting him go a goal down in the uh, 27th minute. And it's Connor Barrett with the uh, opening goal. And uh, Halting him only with themselves to blame there. Yeah, it's it's a really good bit of play by Fylde at the right hand side, a quick give and go. Then Ozzy obviously goes in for the 50-50. He needs to win that really, but then there's no one backing him up behind him. You know, it is a 50-50 and the ball can go anywhere. Um, and he looked a little bit detached. You'd like to see people coming from behind to, to support. But ultimately it was a good little bit of play, um, but certainly I think an avoidable goal. Osborne brings the ball down to defence. Jones makes a run. Down the left-hand side. Osborne finds him, plays it inside to Newby. What can Newby do? Left-footed cross. Oh, it's come all the way out. Shot comes in. Great save there. Still not cleared. Eventually, uh, filed clear the lines. But uh, probably the best chance of the first half so far yeah, for Altingham there. Good opportunity. Good opportunity. I, ju I don't know if Newby's could have taken the ball in a bit further then. And again, Great oh, defender. Oh, surprise! The referee didn't give a free kick there. He's I know the you never know with him, but no, that was a really good tackle. <clears throat> and again, filed uh, just winning the uh, the first touch. Hostabezi now cuts inside, shapes to play a shot, and then uh, plays a short pass forward. Danger for Altingham at the moment, and again, this could be dangerous. It's going. To a good challenge comes in, but it's only to the edge of the area. Shot comes in. Great save there by Ethan Ross. Yeah, good save. Um, just think we can maybe be a little bit tighter around the box. They're looking for little give and goes. They're looking to get that half a yard. Forced to Eddie Jones. Plays it back to Marriott. And also again lose possession. It's three against four. Challenge comes in, but uh, Horton does well, gets out onto the left hand side. Buster Basie at the back post. Shot comes in, good save there by uh, Ethan Ross, can't control it, but it's picked up by Altingham. Scrappy period of play there, Con Clark back flicks it to Amaluzo. Amaluzo now again gets the ball out to. Uh, Marcus Dackers, newbie in the centre, waiting for support inside to Amaluzo. Amaluzo, short pass to Con Clark. Altingham getting the men forward. Looking for an opening, but uh, Fylde closing down at every opportunity. Cross comes over to Dackers. Can he score? He's put oh. it over the bar in the second attempt. The first one hit the keeper. It came back to him and he tried to flick it over and just put it over the bar. And uh, you'd expect him to have done better with that. Yeah, he'll be disappointed with that. Um, a player of his quality, he'll have been desperate to hit the back of the net there, especially when it's popped back out the second time. He's had a second go at it. Harry Davis controls it, gets it onto the right hand side. Oh, that's a good run there by uh, Parrott. That's a brilliant hand by Ethan there. Altingham switch the ball to the right hand side. Cooper brings it out, gets it forward to Banks on the halfway line. I'm a loser now, that's a good ball down the line. He's got room now. What can he do with it? Gets to the byline, pulls it back. Shot comes oh. in, takes a deflection, and that was uh, goal bound till it hit the back of uh, Connor Barrett. 
Good header there by uh, Osborne. Newby again right out on the uh, left hand touchline there. Gets the ball to Osborne, then gets the free the return pass. Well, the good cross coming in, Dakis can't uh, get on the end of it, but uh, the header only falls as far as Newby. Forward to Con Clark. Into Newby. Newby. That's another free kick on the edge of the area there. It was uh, I think it was Eddie Jones getting forward, and that's going to be the second booking of the afternoon. I can't see uh, who it was. Was it uh, Kay? Uh, Harry Davis, I think, the centre half. Kay, was it the number four that was booked? No. Well. What can Hodgkin do here? Con Clark gets it over. Yes, and <laughs> scores a great free kick. Typical Chris Con Clark. There it, it over the wall. He makes it look so easy. It's such a difficult technique to get the ball up and down like that. It's something that comes so natural to him. You know, around the edge of the box, you wouldn't want anyone else on it. You know, fantastic goal. We've seen him score loads of them over the past couple of years. And here we go. So Altrincham back on level terms. A fantastic curling free kick. The uh, goalkeeper Richardson didn't move as the ball hit the back of the net. And it's, all you've got to say is it's what Altingham deserve on the basis of the back end of the first half and what they've done in the second. Yeah. And Altingham will be uh, looking to uh, add a second one as uh, Amaluza controls the ball. Cuts inside, that's no free kick, file break. And uh, Altingham, that could be dangerous, this, that's going to be a free kick. No, the referee's way, play on. I thought for a moment there he was going to give a free kick but uh, I think he played advantage and that was a good save there in the end by Ethan Ross. Yeah, I know exactly what Coops was thinking. Somebody needed to try and make a foul there to break up the run of play. I think we've just got to be so careful with Nick Horton in and around the box. He's got brilliant feet, you know, he's gone past two or three people there. That time we managed to defend it but he's such a dangerous player. And there he is again, wins the ball and brings it forward. Again, cross comes across, and again it's going to hurt, and it's cleared oh. off the line. Unbelievable oh. block there from Baines. I don't think Horton can believe that uh, we managed, that Altingham managed to keep that. And, out. Again, and again, Baines, that's going to be gonna a win the free kick, kick as well. But brilliant, uh, brilliant bit of defending from Baines. Some last there. ditch defending by Baines on the line there, and uh, as I say, I think Horton uh, thought that uh, he was in for a for a goal there. Ended up doing well, Coops there. The, the lanes for a pass closed down. He did really well to come out with the ball. Marriott uh, plays the ball back to Osborne. Osborne uh, currently slotted in at the uh, central defensive position. It allows Cooper to get forward. That's Great played pass. into Con Clark. Con Clark into Amaluzo. Oh, he's put it wide. He's at the bottom of the post. And really, he should have done better there. I'm a loser. I think he realises that uh, that really should have been 2-1 to Altrincham. But uh, he just uh, hit the bottom of the post when uh, all he had to do was hit the target. Yeah, he'll be gutted just in there. It's a great opportunity. Someone of his quality. We were touching on it earlier, how he's in amongst the goals recently. Banks loses possession though, and uh, Fylde able to... Uh, clear the ball up towards the halfway line it's a good move there by Charm and creates himself some space gets it down onto the far side to Osterbeis who's not seen much of him in this uh, second half at the moment but he's got an opportunity to uh, run at the Altrincham defence gets a cross in takes a deflection oh. parried there by Ethan Ross it uh, stays in and Altrincham uh, I won't say living dangerously but that took a bit of a deflection and uh, wrong footed Ethan Ross there This comes back to Con Clark. First time shot, doesn't quite get it right, but uh, Altingham pick it up with with uh, Osborne. Cosilo out again to uh, Newby. Newby now floats one in towards the centre spot, or the penalty spot. Claims a handball there. James saw it. The, yeah, I think 100% the it hit his arm. Saw it. I didn't see um, it. <laughs> Con Clark though, he's gone down under the challenge. Osborne gets a foot in. Newby, ball breaks to Newby. Newby out to go. Uh, Cosilo, Cosilo on the edge of the area. Gets it back to Osborne. Osborne back to Con Clark. He can hit them from there. Con Clark. Oh, and he's hit the post! Oh! 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 Unbelievable! Down and in 
into the back of the net and that again is another wonder goal by Chris Gon Clark, the second one of the day, his 12th of the season and again you can only stand and admire this guy's quality in finishing. Absolutely unbelievable, I, we, we know what a quality player he is and he's having a great season but this is as good a half of football as I think I've seen from Chris this season, he's been electric. He's been everywhere, on the left, on the right, up the middle. He's involved in everything. He looks like he's going to score or assist every time he gets it. You know, this has been a, a superb performance from him. Well, I was fortunate enough to uh, commentate on last season's goal of the season when the uh, winner he scored against Halifax. And uh, having seen that one, I think that's got to be up there as a contender for this year's goal of the season said already his second half performance is, is, is as good as I've seen from anyone this season um, so he would certainly be my pick today taken short to Wilson Wilson out to Cossilo back to Banks Cossilo inside to Marriott Marriott again to Newby Nottingham have retreating back into their own half all the way back to the keeper a long first time clearance Regan uh, oh can he score Regan's in and he saved it great save there by uh, Richardson he thought uh, and that's a free kick there what's uh, the referee given this time it's going to be Kosolo that uh, picks up a uh, booking there fairly innocuous challenge but uh, that really was a golden opportunity for Regan Linney, but uh, you've got to give credit to Theo Richardson for the save there. It was, and I'd love to see Regan score then. He's, he's been really patient after coming back from his injury. The 10th uh, minute goal at uh, Fylde. we've been here before, haven't we? It is. Deja vu. Corner comes in. It's Good headed win. clear, though. And, uh, Great header from Banco coming through the bodies. There, there is go. the final whistle much to the delight of the Alton supporters away to our right hand side in the golf road and it's been a fantastic second half thoroughly entertaining yep second half was really really good watch um, and I think in the end we're good value for the three points there